I want to say welcome to our Comic Con coverage. You guys are wonderful. Mr. Robot has been a huge hit. I want you guys to introduce yourselves and say your character or role with the show, just for the people listening. Um, my name is Portia Doubleday, and I play Angela. Rami Malik, and I play Elliot. Carly Chaikin, and I play Darlene. Sam Esmail, and I play the creator. <laughs> Martin Wallstrom, and I play Terrell. Christian Slater, Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot. Edward Alderson. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, oh, Slash. Right there. Yeah, Yeah, look at that. Spoiler alert. Yeah, wow, spoiler alert. Yeah. How does it feel? Spoiler. What? Oh, oh, am I? Right there. Yeah, 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 right there. Uh, Rami and I talked to Christian at, at Comic Con. You guys were so excited because Rami. you were only Rami. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but you know it's we were the only. Time we've hung out. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's, trust me, I'm terrible with names, but that was we were only about to see the second episode when we chatted. And you guys were already starting to feel the buzz, but I'm now thinking the show has has been through its finale. What is it feeling now that so many people have been watching the show and the, and the buzz and the binging of it has taken place? How does it feel differently now? I know it's pretty unprecedented to have the response be, I mean, f- f- unanimous. Like, not unanimous, but, uh, you know, from critics to just people who are, are appreciating it for its entertainment value across the board. It's, this, this this kind of thing I hear doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. No, it's been, it's been great. Uh, I mean, we started this, uh, of course, with the pilot and then uh, going to South by Southwest Film Festival and the fact that the audience responded so well there and... Uh, <laughs> We've been having some great adventures. We went to Zurich, Cologne, and London, and uh, it's been great sort of getting to introduce the show over and over again to people around the world. Yeah. And Christian, you've been through um, TV for uh, for a while now, and you know what? what Here we top, go. Not, that's a crack it is. <laughs> you know this is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. did you know that this thing was going to pop? Because it has popped in a huge way. When did you know that this thing was going to work like gangbusters? <laughs> Uh, wow. Uh, you know, it, it's always a leap of faith. You never know uh, how people are going to respond. Um, I mean, this has been a very unique experience because, you know, you, you read the pilot and you think, okay, this is an interesting world and Sam Esmail is dealing with it in a very unique way. Um, but, you know, the, 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 the subject of hacking um, after we made the pilot just became so much more relevant and Sony hack. And then just, you know, every day you open up the paper and, you know, it's been one thing after another. Uh, so it's been very relevant. On the one hand, it's been great for the show, but a little scary to be living in a world where that stuff is actually happening. Yeah. yeah. You know, when we shot the pilot, um, I, we, we were watching the pilot the other day at a screening oh, yeah, in, yeah. In, uh, in Germany. And uh, there's a scene where I take down Michael Hansen and I start listing all the people that I know he's cheated on his wife with. And one of them was Ashley Madison. And I just thought that was some random some woman. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? And then that's how crazy it was this that is you. What I'm dealing with. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dealing with this. It's so nice you didn't know that. I mean, it's, it's yeah, great. I no clue. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. I thought it was just some random girl that right. he was cheating he on. His, he he didn't, he didn't yeah, know. he says it in the pilot. Oh, I didn't get that. Yeah, your <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> Ashley Madison right. account. He said we were like Sam oh can predict the future. That was <laughs> quite can. remarkable. Yeah, but, but I didn't know that. That's crazy. But, but that's you one know thing about is Ashley that Madison. I did. Yeah. I, I actually the researched Are you still it. on there? <laughs> no, I actually created. No, this is true. I created an account to research it. And then my uh-huh. name got Great on there. Yeah. Watch out, Ellie. I was just going to say that, like, Mario That's and I, great. we're not computer people. We are not tech savvy. And it's refreshing that I can watch a show and understand what's happening, but also thinking, like, it's oh, not- all those numbers and letters are like an homage to Prince titles or something. It's like, no, those are hacking terms. But right. to me, I'm like, this is great. Yeah, it's not typing. I feel it's like so many not- shows where hacking is a central element yeah. are really about typing, which right. is really not... not clickety clackety yeah, exactly. like zooming in screens. down the wire of the cable right. into the yeah. network of the computer. Because yes. Rami can't type. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. It's true. Uh, <laughs> Sam, when you, when you brought this idea to USA, um, it, it's obviously a different type of property for USA. USA is not the natural network we would have thought for this. What were you thinking? Did you have trepidation about bringing your baby to a network that had sort of a different vibe to it? 
Well, no, because they were really in a position to – they were actually looking to really rebrand and go in a different direction. And they loved the script pretty much as is. I mean, they, they didn't really have a lot of notes. And I remember when I wrote the pilot, I was like, well, this is never going to get – I mean, this is going to get cut. This is going to get changed. Mm. And yeah. they didn't have any notes about it, which I was shocked. And so I think I learned early on that they really – act. this was like an opportunity where they really wanted to partner with me to really go in a bold, different way and just try something really new and refreshing. So yeah. it was actually, I, it was a, it was great timing on my, I mean, I, I felt lucky because they gave me a lot of creative freedom. It was out yeah. of the box thinking on their part, yeah. certainly. I feel like you guys are sort of like the mad men of USA Network. In the same way that Mad Men changed AMC, I feel like mm. this is what Mr. Robert is doing to, to USA. Cool. A little talking little, point for yeah. you guys. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> keep that, keep that Thank in you. mind We're for further, further interviews. We'll discuss that later, yes. Um, Sam, who did you let know? And I won't reveal any twist, but like, there's a there's a big twist that happens. Who knew? Who was kept in the dark? Or, or did everybody know? Sam told me before I got the part. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, don't know. Well, I, because I was I when Carly auditioned, she's obviously brilliant, and I kind of I had a, like a gun you went to impress her. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well she's, brilliant, you know, she's, she's not yeah, she's yeah. not in the pilot a lot, um, and so I knew that that I mean, and she's also a great actress, so like I knew that that I I wanted to really. Let her know that there, that this is going to go a lot deeper than you know than the one scene. A lot more to come in, in the pilot. Yeah. Um, but they actually all knew because I wanted them. I didn't want to have. I mean, I wanted them to play everything sort of organically and like real. And, and so I wanted. I mean, it would be hard for her to play that character without knowing. You know, this is hard talking about without sure without re- yeah. revealing re- it. Re- but yeah. It, Everybody kind of knew, and and to a large extent, Rami always says that he didn't know if he wanted to know as much as he did Mm -hmm. um, as we were shooting. You read my interviews. I do. (laughs) But at the table read for that episode, half, you know, we were all sitting on one side and knew, and the other half was like, what? Yeah, this was crazy. But the other thing is, some people knew, and they when they when they read it, they still were like shocked, which right. I was no. I was sh- was shocked. Yeah, I was you like, knew this. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm, yeah. I'm curious too if if you guys yeah. now get approached by folks, not just at Comic Con but on the street, who who assume that you really are very tech savvy. That always happens to folks who play like doctors on TV who get like asked about medical advice. Do you guys get like fans like asking you about techie stuff that you would normally not have any idea about? No, most of the people I meet assume that I'm evil. <laughs> so they don't think I know anything about tech. But they assume you're like your character. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. I, I still get a right. lot of like, can you? I can't check. I mean, my email's not working, and I, what password should I use? I get that all the time. I had something happen on my uh, pop yeah. up on my computer, and I was like, Sam, help me! <laughs> and I was like taking pictures of it and sending it to him. I've become the tech support. Mm-hmm. Of <laughs> Mr. Robot Cast. Yeah. You know, Portia, we follow <laughs> Rami's character. Rami. Rami. Sorry. <laughs> Rami's, I'm sorry. Rami's character, you know, like we see like the emotional turmoil, but Towards the end, I started noticing, like, okay, the Angela character has this totally different hybrid emotional course that the, like, the season takes. Where are we going to pick up with you in season two? Do you guys know yet? No. I have I don't have, they, no they idea. have no idea. There's no idea? Nothing's? No. Nothing. You're like, nothing's been typed where out yet. Where would you like her to go, Portia? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Where would you like to see your character go? I don't know. I think that there's something interesting about watching um, – someone slowly be corrupted and what that kind of looks like you don't start off you know evil um like terry colby didn't just arrive at terry colby i'm sure there was a progression in Mm. his own career you know that got to him where got him where he was i'm not alluding to anything because i really actually have no idea but i think that there's something interesting about you know watching that struggle and slowly i don't know corrupting a character I'd like it to just go one way, so then <laughs> I can just like stick with like one option. But I have no idea. I don't know what is happening. Mm. <laughs> Sam, have you? Sh- I often get that. Yeah. Do, do you know in your mind, and if you do, have you shared with with, with your cast? How sort of the length of the arc of this story? Because some creators of shows say, you know what, this is a five year story, this is a three year story. Yeah, no, it's it's four seasons, five max. Yeah. Four seasons in a movie. What's that? That's the new trend, four seasons in a movie. Well, you know, it's, it's oh. weird. In Germany yeah, or in that? Zurich, we got asked a question, yeah. would you ever do a movie of Mr. Robot? And I'm like, we are. We're sort of yeah. doing yeah. it. I don't even, yeah, I don't yeah. even 
think of it differently. I mean, well, honestly, that's the interesting thing about TV right now too. Yeah. It's it's sort of become like the independent film world, where, yeah. where you know it's so hard to raise money to make independent movies. So a lot of talented, very creative people are finding this platform as a way to express themselves. Yeah, yeah. And and with no disrespect to Christian's character, do you guys? think that maybe the title because i'm sure you get get questions about the title because people expected sort of a robot thing right and and they're like oh well this is why we're at comic-con yeah (laughs) (laughs) yes come hang out with mr robot do you ever think you should have been called i don't know any other uh, uh, other options that float Uh, in your mind pump up the network no i don't know (laughs) yeah pump up your keyboard i mean i mean look i I don't know there there I can't really get into because that's another reveal that I don't want to get into. But um, I will say that there is something like kitschy in it, and I obviously I know the title is controversial because I know that I've got my haters out there. But um, but I like it, and it, there's something I there's like a, there's Why like a fun. Like I don't know because I think I like walking assume, down the street and having people say, "Hey, Mr. Robot," yeah. you know, <laughs> I, I, think people, I, I enjoy. I think it. people <laughs> instantly imagine you as a. Robot housekeeper. Well, look, when I got the pilots. Um, yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. I thought, small oh, wonder. Yeah. You know, I'm going to read this. I'm going to be moving, beep bop, and the whole thing. And I got to open up a panel in myself. And, and that was not the case at all. Yeah. It's total small wonder. Remember the 80s series, Small Wonder? Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. yeah that's that's a, exactly what I was thinking. Small wonder. <laughs> small wonder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It always goes back to small that. wonder on our show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, how do you guys decompress after actually shooting some of this? these scenes that you guys shoot. Go home and stare at a wall. <laughs> is that it? Because it's it's very there intense. One night, Super yeah, where, yeah. especially coming off of a comedy, where, you know, all day we're just laughing and it's fun and funny. Suburb. Yeah. Suburb. Uh, Suburbit. Suburbitory. Suburbit, yeah, Suburbitory. Um, that there was one night that <laughs> when I was doing a scene with Cisco, who plays my ex-boyfriend, um, and it... Rapper. We, yeah. And... We like went till almost three in the morning, and it was so emotional. And I just went home and laid, just went right into bed, and was just like staring at the wall, yeah. <laughs> and couldn't do anything. Right, right. but zoning out. It's yeah, it's yeah. hard though because you still have a life that yeah. you need to be present, present for. for right. That oh, it's sorry. a really tricky thing of you live in a different world in this world more so than you actually do in real life. So it's a very tricky, weird thing, and a very emotionally draining. Yeah. And I don't know how Rami Does still it. is like, "Hey guys." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like what we have going for us, though, is that we support each other during mm. all of it, and I think that we that at least made the whole process easy because it's fun. I mean, I, we enjoy going to work and you know collaborating with each other and so i mean this is a great experience like to have characters that we can immerse ourselves in i mean that's like kind of every actor's dream come true sort of situation so we like to be tested and pushed and uh put through a lot of hurdles so it's a great opportunity i mean knowing we do something that is like thrilling and we felt this is going to be good Mm. it's so much easier than when you're working with something that is like well hope, hope it's it going to be good yeah, yeah. so yeah. Right. just knowing that yeah. this is going to be good right kind of help motivating that. yeah right. yeah rami going back to, to your stuff um i mean this has been obviously a, a big life-changing thing for i think everyone here but but for you, you you i think now you're very recognizable in a way that that was not the case before and i'm sure it's been very life-altering how has that transition been for you yeah i mean someone said it was an overnight success um which kind of hurt my feeling. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's you know it's been it's special. The, the, you know, for me, yeah, it's a it's a big leap. I've been I've been doing it for a while, and apparently nobody took notice. <laughs> but, crazy, yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. all good. It's a great role to you know make a, a huge splash with, and I I love playing him. Uh, and I'm glad it's not just a, f- a film. I'm glad I get to, you know, come back and Return do it. Do it, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And do it with everybody here. It's like, you know, back to your other question. It is like a, an immense amount of support we have between one another. Everybody's always checking in, and that's a great place to go to work. So I love playing the, the role, but working with everybody here and our crew, it's a, it's a really artistic place to go where, you know, everyone's collaborating and, Sam uh, is confident enough to let us impress our opinions every once in a while. He doesn't always take them, but uh, you know that's a great place to go to work, and, and uh, we're very fortunate. It's, it's fun. 
You know, I was thinking, Martin, you mentioned how a lot of people come up to you and are terrified of you. I just realized, because the, the woman who plays your wife, I think I'm actually terrified of her the mm. most in the show. Because there's something really, like, dead shark eyes about mm. her that's, like, very, very intense. Like, do you guys have intense scenes together? Because there's a lot of, like, really awkward emotion that we saw, you know, throughout the... If we had intense the end. scenes? Yeah, like, just, like, those having those emotional scenes because she is devious, you are devious. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I love that reveal and, like, it's coming in this first season. I can't say any episode, I guess. No. No, we're, this no. Isn't, no spoilers. Right? No. We're, yeah, it's so. up to you. Oh, it's up to you guys. Well, it's up it's to you guys. To you. I mean, but people can binge it, and this, the yeah. first season has been complete. There might be some spoilers now. So. We've, yeah. we've already yeah. spoiled everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I mean, episode three when 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 she's like when you kind of realize well she is the master uh, more she's also a mastermind. What do you want to call it? I love that kind of twist and yeah she does it so well i'm also scared of her yeah <laughs> i mean i don't want to like but like when she basically pushes herself into labor just Ooh. like i was like this woman is yeah. non-stop she goes the distance yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that sit- was intense absolutely yeah. you'll be sitting outside at a stoop you know while we're filming in between scenes smoking a cigarette with a wow, big wow. pregnant belly <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and people just walk by and they're like how oh, dare you what's yeah. wrong with yeah. this lady <laughs> that or it's very new york and they just keep walking like mm. <laughs> that's it that's what's going on oh very bizarre sam from the creator's point of view um did you ever dream that this would be the out of the box that it was because i i think a lot of folks we talk to who are writers and creators don't allow themselves even to sort of have that dream because it can be almost sort of destabilizing as you write this what were your expectations for this i mean look my dream was for us to be like a little cult hit like, you know, look, the, the show's really weird. Elliot's really weird. The world is very odd. And um, and it's very specific. And um, I just thought we would be like, uh, if we could just be like a little cult hit that, you know, would be on, you know, a couple of people's favorites list, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, the fact that it kind of broke out this way is a little baffling. And, I, you know, and it's weird because, like, I was working throughout the whole shoot and then post – so I didn't have time to even really process it, which I think is probably a good thing. That probably helps. Guys, yeah. season one has completed. It airs on USA. You can watch it probably on demand. Binge it for sure. Yep. Get caught up if you have not watched it for season two. Do we know kind of when season two is coming? You guys haven't started filming yet? 2016. 2016. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. All on my calendar. <laughs> yes. Mark the entire calendar as X's for <laughs> Mr. Robot. Um, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us during Comic-Con. Thank Comic-Con. you. Thank Very you. lovely. Absolutely. Absolutely. 